Can you talk about the Trappist-1 exoplanet, which is said to be in the habitable zone? How do we decide whether a planet is in the, is in the habitable zone from here? Does being in the habitable zone imply the existence of life in that region? Okay, what is the Trappist-1 exo, uh, system? So the Trappist-1 uh, star is a red dwarf star. It's about 40 light years from where we are, from the sun, from the earth. It's a very small red giant star. Its diameter is just slightly larger than the diameter of Jupiter. But its mass is significantly more than that of Jupiter, which is why it is a star, which is why there's a fusion reaction going on inside it. It's a very small star. It's a very cool star compared to the sun or, or other stars. And it's a dim star. Now, what is the habitable zone? The habitable zone is the region around a star where liquid water can exist. So it's neither too close to the star where water would evaporate, nor is it too, it is too far from the star where water would freeze. It is that region around a star where water can exist in as a liquid. So it depends on from star to star. Some stars are very hot, so it would have been the habitable zone would be further away. Some stars are cooler, then the habitable zone is closer. So in the case of the Trappist-1 planet uh, star, it would be much closer than what it is in our solar system. So the Earth and Venus and, and Mars most likely are within the habitable zone in our solar system because the, this is the region where liquid water can exist. So there, I think there are about seven exoplanets that have been discovered around the Trappist-1 star. And I think these are terrestrial type planets, rocky planets. And I believe there are at least three of these exoplanets that are in the habitable zone around this star. And at least one seems to be very Earth-like, which would indicate perhaps that there is a possibility of a liquid ocean on it, which could indicate a chemistry that is similar to that of the Earth. So maybe there is life there, maybe. So being in the habitable zone does not imply or guarantee the existence of life. It just says that there could be life there similar to the kind of life that you find on the Earth. So the Trappist-1 system is very interesting because you have so many Earth-like planets there and also because you have at least three planets that are in the habitable zone. So there is a possibility that there could be Earth-like conditions there on at least one of these planets and maybe there could even be the possibility of some form of life there. So it's very interesting.